All right, so Panthers Blackhawks, which means we will be able to enjoy one of the game's best young players, a guy that's probably headed for the Hall of Fame, probably a perennial 50 goal scorer. Also, Connor Bedard is playing. The Florida Panthers have won the Stanley Cup. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go. Go. Puck drop. And three, two, one. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go. Go. All right, Panther fans. So we got a late one tonight, 8.30 against the Blackhawks. And Maurice, let's see if he's finished learning his lesson, right? It's like, how many times do you need to get married before you realize maybe I shouldn't get married the fourth or the fifth time? It's been twice now that he's pulled Sam Miskevich off of the ice, and we didn't do so good. So let's see if he leaves him on tonight. Spencer Knight is in nets about time. Um, a couple of people were surprised that he didn't get one of the games against Winnipeg. But is what it is, what it was, what it was. Knights look good so far, so I hope to see him continue that. Uh, you never want to say there's an easy one or a gimme. And in fact, coming off of two emotional uh, games against the Jets, you could kind of maybe call this game against the Hawks a trap game. Wouldn't be surprised to see at least it be. It doesn't make any sense. Let me rewind. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a trap first period. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. All right, let's get two points. All right, so it's one, nothing Chicago after one. It could have been like two nothing at least. Spencer Knight's made a couple of nice saves. Um, you know, we streamed during the games and basically there's like 100 people on the stream, give or take. You know, when you combine every, all, all those platforms, and it's just, it's, it's disgust. It's disgust. It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> it's not bothering me that much. You know what I mean? Like, like we're, not, we're not playing poorly, but we're just out there for a Sunday afternoon skate. It looked like Maurice got a little bit animated on the bench, so we'll see what happens there. They did pick up the pace a little bit. But I told you, I knew they were not going to look good in the first period. And again, it's, we are the champs. So every night, whoever we play in their locker room, they're saying, those are the champs, let's go get them. So all that matters in this season is, is winning the last game. That's, that's in the postseason. You get the drift. Let's move on to the second period. All right, so it's 2-1 Blackhawks after two. The only guy on the team that can do anything right now is Sam Reinhardt. Everybody else, the second line, as good as the second line looked the other night, even though they weren't getting chances, tonight they just look like ass. Uh, top line looks fine. Third line, Sam Miscavige just got moved up to the third line. It's not, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening except for we're standing still a lot. It's very obvious that they just kind of came in here and figured that they could win this game with minimal effort. And what's surprising is it wouldn't surprise me if, if they do. So let's finish this up. Three one Blackhawks. Now, never did I ever think that I'd be 20 games into the season and be fixing to go on a Carter Verhage needs to be benched rant. And there's there's being in a slump. There's not really being able to handle a puck. We've kind of joked about it, how he, every time he gets the puck, he's got Ekblad-itis and he can't handle it. But that dog shit that he just did that led to the empty net goal, he needs a night off. Carter Verhage needs a night off. You let Gadjevich play on the fourth line, put Sam Eskevich up there on the second line of Rahegi's spot. Just a game. Just a game, but just to send a message. That was the laziest, 
laziest excuse for I don't even know what he's trying to do to get the puck to to to, to Ekblad. Go forward, Carter. He has been awful, 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 awful. And whether you just want to call it take a night off to get your mind right or a punishment, that dude needs to sit. And if Paul Maurice still has two cojones, he'll do it. It's that that, that shouldn't even be a question. Dude should have the next game off. Now, what else do we see on the ice tonight? Besides the fact that we blew out Winnipeg and then we've come back and looked like crap. Well, we didn't look like crap the second game. But, I mean, I thought the first period would be a trap period, but I didn't think they'd play like crap the entire game. The lack of days ago, lack of effort. We had a couple of power plays. They're just passing it all over the place. Bark off. Bark off. You are aware that you can shoot the puck in the power play. Not everything that there. It is legal to have someone other than Sam Reinhardt shoot the puck on the power play. So there's that. Um, defense was defense was fine. And we had a couple of you know breakdowns that were in the back of the net. Spencer Knight made some good saves. He wasn't tested a ton, but certainly he deserved a better fate than this. At least we should have gotten that to overtime. I mean, I can't really complain about the top line. I know I said Barkoff not shooting the power play, but they, they at least look decent. Rodriguez gave him good effort. The ben, Bennett, I was I saw Bennett out there tonight. What was there was there was it was one of the goals. I think it was the second goal as he was backing off the puck carrier. The just the lackadaisical half-ass attempt with this stick. And then just letting the man get past them. It's awful. Awful. That whole second line. Bennett, Kachuk, Verhage. Sit them all. I don't think we have the roster space to do that. Put Bolinskis back up there. Call up Zach Dalpe. Make the second line. Dalpe, Samuskevich, and... And... <laughs> I can't even think anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And Bolinskis. Yeah. Yeah, we'll let Bolinskis... <laughs> it's bad. Um, they did move Samuskevich up to the third line. No, nothing worked. Not nothing worked tonight. Uh, they they they. Would I say they had the best opportunities? No, top line still did. In terms of the fourth line, um, I'm not complaining about the dude, but I mean, I don't think Nosik is is Kevin Stenlin, right? Nosik is definitely a fourth line guy who's just kind of like, I'm there, right? I'm I'm there, and I guess I win faceoffs. Where Stenlin was more of a dynamic presence, you can move him around the lineup. He gave you some extra depth. Uh, he certainly looked faster than Nosik did. Not that I'm saying Nosik looks bad, but. That was not, it was not, um, and, and this is all, you know, you get the cup tax and the cup hangover, and, you know, you're paying your backup goalie $4.5 million so that you have to make, you know, choices elsewhere, and how can I put this? It's another reason why it's important for Sam Miskevich to play, because with Sam Miskevich and Boquist, you're probably set at wing, but I wouldn't really, I would not mind an upgrade at 4C. Not that it's been bad, but I don't know. It's hard to tell with these with this team because they're so up and down with their effort level. And no sick didn't play a lot of those games that we won in a row there, I believe. So and then defensively, they look they look fine. Everything was fine. It just 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 lack of effort. Lack of focus. The same things we talked about last year. But it's hard as a fan to watch. It really is. It's like it's a the season is a completely different experience now. All the years past, it was they were gonna play hard and they almost and they almost and oh we lost three to two. Oh we won four to three. And every game was was blood, sweat, and tears because every point really, really mattered. And now the regular season is like, 
we're the, we're the champs. I'm going to bed. And you wake up and you look at the score like, ah, they lost to the Blackhawks with a bunch of dumbasses. But nobody's worried until April. It's a completely, completely, it's backwards now. We used to watch every game during a regular season, and it was life or death. And sometimes we'd get 96 points and not get in. And most of the times we'd get like 88 points and not get in. But there was hope. But every game, every shift, every period was like, man, if we could just get a point tonight, we're only four points out. If we could find a way to win that game, we'll only be two points out with ten games left. It, it all, But now it's just kind of like bench Carter for Hagee. That's, that's where I'm not even kidding about that, though. Like, like I know I joke and I'm animated and all that shit. No, that Kraken needs to sit. He needs to sit for a game. It's not even, it's not even an option. All right, he's been bad, and it's been costing us a little bit. But tonight, cost us. I mean, maybe we don't score. Maybe we don't score, but maybe we do. And that was just an awful, awful, awful way to end a hockey game. All right, that's enough bitching and complaining. I'll be live tomorrow at noon for your therapy session. Um, we're supposed to talk hockey, but somehow we never end up talking hockey. It's like the chat with Jaws hour. Oh, which, by the way, for the members, I posted a link in the community section for the members. The members only Discord is available and up and going. I'm, st I'm still figuring out how to make it available for the Patreon people. So we'll, we'll deal with that. So, all right. So we get no points. We lose to the Blackhawks. We lost the Blackhawks. Yeah, that's nice. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.